Okay guys, I'm back after a long, long, long time off on the bike and with Christmas and everything. It's been uh, a busy one for me, but I'm finally out. I've been allowed out on the bike and uh, the weather has been, well, as you can tell by the road conditions and the state of the trees, it's all uh, it's all been happening in the UK. But um, before I start this vlog properly, I just wanted to show you something that I purchased quite a while ago. Um, but it's just, I haven't had the time or anything like that. So I'm going to do it now. And it is the Invisivin. Now this thing is pretty cheap. And it's just to cover up this stuff here. It's got some magnets on it. And uh, yeah, it's from uh, Rogue Rider Industries. <laughs> Woohoo! And um, yeah, simple, simple stuff. You just place it on the old bit there. Ta-da, done. And now the bike looks nice and black. Right, let's get this show on the road. So, good day guys. I am finally back on this bike. It's been about a month, three weeks to a month. The weather in the UK has been absolutely shit. And um, I've been super busy with Christmas and the family and things like that. It's just been impossible to get back on this bike. So apologies for this video taking so long to get to you guys um, and for the delay. But I'm here now and I'm here to answer your questions. A thousand subscribers guys. Well, it's more than that now. But uh, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for listening to me. And thank you for all your comments. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, let's get answering some serious questions now. And uh, thank you for all your questions to begin with. You, A lot of you guys have asked me the same sort of thing. So I'm just going to sort of do a general sort of questions. And if there's anything I've missed at the end of the video, please uh, put the questions in the comments below and I will just answer them for you personally. But let's get started. Now, a lot of you guys want to know about me, who I am, what I do, all that sort of stuff. So let's get to it. My name is Zach. I'm 34 years old. I'm uh, from the beautiful town of Bridgewater in Somerset, the United Kingdom. And uh, yeah, I've, I've lived there all my life. And um, I probably end up living, I'll probably end up living here for pretty much the whole of my life. Um, I'm not going to show you it on a map or anything like that. If you're really that interested, go and check it out online. You just type in Bridgewater, Somerset, and, and you'll be able to see where it is. But as you can see, I mean, you know, we're in winter now, so it all looks a bit dead. But there's a lot of beautiful countryside down in the southwest of England. And I'm blessed with all these lovely bendy bendies that in, in between all the hills and valleys and different things. And in the summertime, it's an absolute pleasure to be riding in this part of the country. So, what am I into? Well, other than riding my, my beautiful bike, I love to collect watches. Now, I'm not going to bore you with tons of information about this because a lot of people do find it very boring. I mean, a watch is basically a tool that tells you the time. And a lot of people just think of it like that, but I don't. I think of it as a, a handmade masterpiece. And I really appreciate the way they look, the different brands, uh, it's just, I don't know, there's something about a watch, I can get right into them, and if there's a watch collector out there, I can talk for days about it. You know, high-end watches, low-end watches, everything in between watches, I love them all. What else am I into? Well, I love my music, I love listening to music, and I love playing music. Um, mainly the guitar. Um, I can play a huge variety of different instruments, but the guitar is the one that I enjoy playing the most, shall we say. And uh, I'm in a band, and they're called, or we are called, the St. Pierre Snake Invasion. And uh, we're from Bristol, and uh, there's five of us in the band. A uh, singer, two guitarists, bassist, and a drummer. And uh, yeah, we've got a couple albums out. And uh, yeah, you should go check us out on, on YouTube. We've got our own uh, channel, but if you just type in the St. Pierre Snake Invasion, You'll, you'll see loads of videos of, of us messing around, doing music videos, all that sort of shazaz. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, I just love it. You know, it's, it's great hanging out with the guys, 
going on tour, playing at festivals, and uh, just writing and playing music, basically. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you've got some time, go and check us out. Actually, the uh, the intro um, music and the outro music is actually my band and uh, their music. So uh, yeah, if you're into that kind of style of music, definitely go check us out. Um, and that's about it, guys. As far as uh, as as far as me and and everything, I guess. Oh, I forgot one last thing. One last thing. What do I do for a living? Um, I am a tree surgeon. I've got my own company, do a bit of gardening and stuff as well, um, but my main profession is tree surgery, and uh, I'm on my own, I've got a, a, another guy that obviously works for me, and uh, you know, climbing and cutting down trees and all that sort of stuff. Um, I love the job, it's starting to get a bit hard for me now though, my, my body is sort of rejecting the idea of climbing up super tall trees and uh, almost killing myself every time I go to work. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm only 34, but when you've been doing it for a long time, you know, your muscles, your back, your joints, all that sort of stuff, it all starts to just sort of, you know, not, it's not nice, it's not nice. And uh, with the weather being so beautiful as it is in the UK, it's always nice being up a tree, 40, 40 mile an hour winds, and it's pissing down with rain, it's nothing better. And you're wielding a, uh, a chainsaw inches from your uh, your face it's always a good 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 thing you know right let's start chatting now about bike related uh, questions that you guys have for me and again there's a lot of uh, the same sort of questions coming up one of them was uh, why Harley Davidson how did I get into Harley Davidson um, there's two answers there one of them is I've always loved the look of a Harley you know that old school sort of chopper um, look and the way they sound, that V-twin, it just sounds awesome. And uh, Harley Davidson, you know, it's, it's a huge brand. I mean, if you've not heard of Harley Davidson, you've not lived on this planet. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's such a big brand. And I guess as a kid and, and as you're growing up, you see a lot of Harleys, you hear it a lot on, you know, and you see them on movies and different things. And you just think, man, I really want one of those when I'm older. And uh, yeah, I mean, things like Terminator 2, that, when I seen old um, Schwarzenegger on his um, fat boy, you know, that's uh, one of those moments where you're just like, oh man, I really want a, I really want a Harley, you know. And um, yeah, just just things like that, really. I guess that got me into Harley. I mean, obviously, you know, the actual brand itself is a very good brand. They're super crazy expensive and ridiculous for that for it. But um, yeah, it just look, they just look like cool bikes, you know, and um, you know, Triumphs, all that stuff there, they look okay, they look nice, I'm not, you know, not anything against them. But there's something about a Harley to me that just says cruiser bike. So yeah, and you know, I'm gonna say it guys, and you're probably gonna laugh at me and shake your head at the screen and probably just go somewhere else after I say this, but I have to be honest, um, when I was um, at uni, I watched a show on television called The Sons of Anarchy. Da -da 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 -da. And um, yeah, I, you know, I seen those bikes uh, in there and, and that whole show, I mean, regardless of what you think of the show, those bikes on, the, on that show are freaking awesome. And, uh, you know, every time I saw one of those characters getting on their Harley or they're cruising down in a formation, I just thought, damn, I need a Harley. I want a Harley. I'm getting a Harley. And that's kind of where the research into Harley Davidson begun for me. I always assumed they were serious money and massive bikes. And, you know, just I would never be able to afford one, all that kind of stuff. Went online, checked out the Harley uh, website. Um, this was probably about five years ago now <laughs> and um, oh no it'd be, be more than that actually and saw that you could get a Harley Davidson that looks like a Harley Davidson for about seven or eight grand brand new so I was like what okay that's I mean you know it's a lot of money don't get me wrong but it wasn't the 20 30 grand that I was thinking of that was in my mind and uh, so then that was it then the sort of road to Harley was was right in my my sights so then I started looking again into Harleys what bike was I gonna buy all that sort of stuff and the Diner Street Bob now that that bike is in all honesty 
my my most the most favorite i guess that's the right way to say it the most favorite bike that harley have ever done i think it just to me says harley davidson the diner street bob and i was looking at that bike for months and months and months but that was the bike that sealed the deal for me when you see one of those bikes in person as well you just think god damn it looks sexy you know so i thought you know that would be that would be it that, that was the bike for me but then then harley went and released the new softtail models and ditched the diner which i was a little bit upset about because i thought you know i wanted a diner i didn't want these new softtail models but then i rode one i went and rode one and my mind changed instantly i got on this bad boy and i just knew it was the bike for me and that's a lot of another question that comes up quite a bit why the fxbb and uh, not a diner or something like that and and that is the answer i got on this bike and i rode it in a test ride and was like holy shit this bike this bike just it feels so much more comfortable it, it just it just feels better in every single way it's lighter and all right it's got a smaller tank there's a few issues with it that you know the the old the old diner bike wins but honestly guys this 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 bike to me as soon as i sat on it it was just like it was it was meant to be my bike so then that was it i was sold and and that's the story behind me sort of becoming a harley owner if you like and why i got into harley um now a lot of questions have been asked about why i club styled this bike and you know a little bit is that sons of anarchy thing um i just i but i, I do like that look that whole club style look for me just it just looks super cool when you see a guy riding down the street or down the road he's got the fairing on the front the high ape hangers he's got his cool seat and his bars out and all the rest of it and you're just cruising along you just think yeah man that dude looks badass and let's be let's just face it guys you don't just ride a bike for comfort and uh you know to enjoy the the road you, you buy a harley to look cool or as a lot of people say to look like a tool but i don't give a crap <laughs> I, you know i look cool on this bike and that is one of the reasons why i clubbed it out you know it just, it's, it's a statement a club club bike it's a definite statement you, and in the uk you don't really see many bikes that are clubbed out a lot of guys go with the sort of hollywood bars or the drag bars that sort of thing and do like a drag style bike or like a true bobber you know bike where they they get rid of the fender put the little saddle on the bottom lower it down and you've got yourself a super crazy bobber bobber for me is not really um been a style that i've really been into i mean i like the look of them and that but it's you know I, I always think of them as a bit of a bike that would be hard to ride a long distance and i did want this bike to be able to do whatever i wanted to do on it which was ride it wherever whenever not have to worry about my back being uh impound compounded by you know a, a, a hard saddle or whatever you know it wasn't it wasn't what i wanted and uh, that's you know why club style for me i got the nice step up seat and uh, i just just love that look really um another question that i get asked quite a bit or has come up is uh you know what's next for this bike where am i going with this thing and the honest answer is well i mean to start with i've ordered the new tires so the tires are on their way and i'll do a vlog on that once they arrive and um you know i've just put the old rogue rider industries um invisi vin on it and all that but uh honestly there's not really much else i want to do to this bike forward controls i might i'm still a little bit do i do it or don't i do it i'll see how i go in the summer um forward controls i might do i am considering and it is just a consideration at the moment raising the front and the rear end um whether I, I wait and get a whole new front end and a whole new rear end is, uh, we'll, we'll wait and see. I mean, I would really like to get air suspension and be able to just lower it and raise it as I wish. And uh, with the front end, just, just getting a taller or slightly more, more travel. I mean, I really like the forks on here at the moment, but I just think the, to make it look a bit more taller bike and get that better lean, lean angle, the suspension might be the way to go but i mean this is what i mean i won't have the money for that for a long time yeah uh, brakes you know that's a definite when when uh when i get the sort of word from my guy at harley about these new brakes <coughs> that are being made um I, I will put them on for sure because the brakes on this bike are pretty rubbish 
and uh, you know now with a stage two and uh, once I get the new tyres on I'm going to need something that's going to you know stop me so brakes will be on the cards at some point but other than that guys <clears throat> there's really nothing else for me to do on this bike and um, I think that's it I think I don't think there's any other questions that I haven't answered so I'm going to leave it there once again thank you so much for your support and for subscribing and for all your comments um, I will try and get back out on the bike when I can Look, I mean at the moment winter time in the UK is a pain in the ass I like to try and get a video out every week uh, unfortunately the way things are it's very hot, very difficult at the moment with the weather and the salt on the roads and just everything to, to try and get out so um, bear with me guys um, I will be back as soon as I can um, look out for me online hit that bell button if you want to be notified as soon as anything of mine comes out um, thank you very much for watching um, but I'm gonna leave it there if you are new to the channel and you've managed to hold on to the end um, please give this video a like and a subscribe and I'll catch you next time street Bubba vlogger woo